Okay, so I'm going to be explaining some important concepts on chapter 14, dealing with vesicle formation. Okay, so we see here that uh, in order for vesicles to form, uh, they have to uh, bud off from uh, a donor membrane, shown here in gray, through coated vesicle budding. This process occurs by uh, the binding of GTP binding protein to the donor membrane. And once this GTP binding protein um, becomes active, it will cause the formation of this whole complex here of coat proteins and uh, membrane cargo proteins, uh, V-snare protein uh, to form on the area where the vesicle will will um, butt off and once the vesicle um, makes its uh, uh, contact with the target membrane after budding off and floating in the cytosol it'll find its target membrane and uh, these, uh, these snare proteins will form a snare complex uh, and these are basically alpha helical proteins that will form coiled coils to uh, anchor the, the vesicle to the target membrane and then cause the fusion of the two membranes. Uh, so we see here that when this whole process is initialized, we have this uh, secretory 12 protein, which is a uh, it's a membrane protein that exists inside the bilayer, but it's able to um, initialize the SAR1 protein, which is this uh, is from a class of GTP um, GTPase proteins. So once the SEC12 finds the a uh, GDP SAR1 protein, it'll swap it. It will swap out its uh, GDP for a GTP, and so now with its GTP, um, the protein undergoes a conformational change that will anchor it to the bilayer by exposing one of its hydrophobic uh, N terminals. And so once the once this uh, SAR1 protein becomes active and anchored to the to the bilayer of the of the uh, donor membrane. It will initialize the formation of this vesicle here um, curve, uh, through the formation of this curvature. It will recruit uh, other proteins to the area, uh, such as this, these uh, SEC24 and 23 code, code proteins that form the uh, uh, COP2 code assembly in this case. So this means that it'll it'll be going from uh, it'll be budding off of the ER and going to the Golgi. And so once the uh, the pinching off occurs and the vesicle is now uh, a uh, full entity, it will go into the cytosol. And um, you see here that the, uh, the this initial protein that initiated the the formation of the of the coat with GTP, it uh, hydrolyzes the GTP, and so you see these uh, phosphate groups coming off, and uh, and then what follows is the disassembly of the coat, and so now you have an uncoated vesicle. And what happens next is uh, this uncoated vesicle um, will find its uh, target membrane using this uh, RAB GTP protein, which will anchor itself to the, it will embed itself in part of itself into the uh, transport vesicle. And one, and uh, vesicle docking occurs when this RAB GTP uh, finds a RAB effector on the target membrane, and so once uh, once this um, interaction occurs between the RAB GTP and RAB effector, 
you will have uh, the formation of this coiled coil. Uh, so these, uh, this vamp, which is basically a alpha helis, helicy protein, will co uh, contact this uh, uh, syntaxin and SNAP25, which together will form the coil coil of, uh, you can see here in this close-up image, four, di four different um, alpha helices. And so what the alpha helices then do is form the coiled coil and pull the two uh, bilayers closer together until until the uh, until there's able to uh, be enough force generated that the phosphate groups of these two different uh, bilayers are able to to uh, basically be separated and the bi uh, hydrophobic bilayers uh, hydrophobic cores of both vesicles I mean, uh, both bilayers are able to make contact, and then that is um, followed by rapid uh, fusion of the two bilayers. And so, once the once this uh, uh, SNAR complex has done its job and fused the two uh, bilayers, it is uh, operated on by alpha SNAP and NSF, which use ATP to basically undo this uh, cis snare complex and that basically allows them to become available to an additional um, vesicle fusion uh, procedure.